Hello and welcome to another Unity tutorial. Should I eat that? Should I pick up this? Or should I exit through this door? Today we will have a look at how we change the cursor. Let's get started. So this is the standard cursor and to begin with let's get rid of that. Make a new script, C sharp script. And we will focus on the gem in this tutorial, so we just call it for gem. Drag it to the gem and double click to open in Visual Studio. In Visual Studio we can just do some housekeeping, delete the update method. And here we will just disable the cursor. And it's very, very simple. It's just called cursor.visible equals false. Save the script and run in Unity. Woohoo! It works. There's no cursor anymore. Now let's do some more advanced stuff. We don't need this anymore. And we need a bitmap to actually change the cursor. So it's called public texture 2D and we select a name for the bitmap and that will be cursor arrow. And now we make this new sentence cursor dot set cursor. And the set cursor has three arguments. The first one is the name of the bitmap. And then we have the position. We just set that to zero. The last argument is the cursor mode and we just set that to force software. Okay, save and now we need a bitmap for the cursor and in this tutorial we will use the pixel cursors from the Unity asset store. You can find a link in the description. And now back to Unity, find a click on the gem and then drag the cursor to the cursor arrow text field and let's test. We it looks nice. We now have a default cursor. Now we want to change the cursor when the mouse hovers over the gem. And to do that we need a new function called on mouse enter. And we can um, we also need a new bitmap and this one we will call cursor pickaxe and we can just copy the name down to the new function and uh, it was called on on mouse uh, on mouse enter here we go uh, yeah let's test in unity and here we go and nothing happens and it's because we need a collider on the gym Let's go for the box collider and the size is fine. Let's test again. Mm -hmm. Still not working, uh, but that's because we need to pick the pickaxe. Let's try again. Testing and yeah, it's beautiful, but we need the old cursor back when we leave the gym. So we just copy this on mouse enter and do a mouse on mouse exit. And now we have to copy the default error name and let's test again in Unity. Woohoo! Works perfect! We are done! That was all for today. See you soon for another Unity tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe. Have fun!